Hey guys, I'm back and I'm going to do a haul and this is a different kind of haul. This is an international haul, let's say. I went back to Nigeria this December. I just came back early January and Nigeria is where I'm from, if you didn't already know. And I went back for my parents' Silver Jubilee, which is the celebrating 25 years of marriage. I know. But anyway, yeah, so we went back there and... Um, I really enjoyed myself. I had a great time, not just for places I went to see, as much as for being able to see my family members I haven't seen in the longest time. Like, oh my gosh, I just enjoyed being around my family. I had a great time. But yeah, we're going to move on to um, the things I got. To begin, I went to the markets and, you know, I bought some purses. I bought some gifts for my friends and stuff for myself as well. So first things first, I got this leather, um, genuine leather purse for my friends. I hope she likes it because I really, really like it and I would keep it for myself if I could. But like when I saw it, I was just like, this is so her. And this is what it looks like on the outside. And it has like a pouch in the middle and it comes with, um, not drawstring, but it comes with like a, a handle like this and you can carry it with the handle or as a um, as a clutch it's very cute from the same um, merchant I guess I also bought he said it was snakeskin genuine snakeskin this purse right here which is similar to the one I just showed you but this one he said it was made out of snakeskin and I just I really liked it it has the same handle I can also wear it as a pouch. Same everything as the other one. And I intend on carrying this frequently. Who knows where. And along with it, I also bought something that's kind of like a wallet slash small, small purse. You know, it's really cute. You can also carry it as a clutch. But it also has the same exact thing. A handle. And um, an inside, inside pouch or whatever. And here's what it looks like front and back. Isn't this beautiful? I think it's so cute. From the same seller, I also bought um, this wallet. It's a leather wallet. It looks like this. This is what it is on the inside. It has that the zipper pouch or whatever. And another opening. And this gen everything is genuine leather. And I bought three of them for three friends of mine. I thought they would like it. And then, oh my gosh, I'm really excited about this purchase. I bought these, this necklace right here. And I know that if you, if I were to buy something like this, like in this country, or like something genuine like this, not like the Forever 21, like cheap kind, but like, you know, made with like the real beads and stuff, it would cost probably between 50 to like $150 and everything, so. And I got this very cheap. I got this, like, together with everything I got, I paid, like, probably around $50 total for everything. So, yeah. This is what I, I'm going to put this on. So, you see. I'm definitely not going to wear it with something like this. I'm going to rock this out. I don't know how, but ugh, I'm excited. I really like it. And I bought another one. It's pink and green, like this. Yeah. Ah, it's like, <laughs> but yeah, I got that, and then I got, um, I don't know what to call these, I think they have a name, but it's, uh, um, I noticed that, like, a lot of people from my country, like, when they have, like, I don't know, like, a traditional wedding or something, they always wear these orange beads, I don't know what they're called, but I always wanted a pair, I always wanted one for myself, so when I saw them, I had to buy them, I really liked them, and I bought the bracelets to go along with them that and then from another seller I bought these bracelets there's really nothing so special about them they just they look okay I guess but I bought them to give to friends I hope they'll like it and then another thing I bought was material this one specifically is called Ankara and Ankara is basically um it's a material we use, like in my country and as well as other countries. I'm sure Ghana uses it as well, um, to make um, to make uh, traditional wear. And I really like this. is like one of the best quality ones. I don't remember what it's called, but it's really nice. And it's six. Um, is it? What is it? Six yards. 
it's six yards of material and I can make um I'm thinking of making a dress with it like either a dress a skirt you can make actually you can actually make two dresses with this so I can't wait to use it and oh my gosh don't laugh at me but one thing I got was butter mint or butter mint whatever but butter mint is like this um candy it is so good oh my gosh like it's so good. Like, if you eat it, you can't eat just one. You have to eat, like, two, three, four, ten more. I don't know. It's just that good. And as you can see, the bag is almost finished. Like, my brother and I have, like, practically destroyed it. And it's unfortunate. I only bought one, but oh well. And then, I got indomie, which is, like, ramen noodles. But this is, I guess, a Nigerian kind. And it's so good. It's so much better than the, um ramen noodles or whatever but I mean no offense but it is it's so good it's really really good so I bought four of those and I bought hair I mean I don't think you're really interested in knowing but I bought hair and <laughs> it was pretty cheap but it was really nice and thick and I can't wait to I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I'm not gonna make wear a weave out of it so I don't know I might make a wig out of it but I don't really know how that's gonna work but we'll see but I'm just I'm gonna make use of this for sure so, I feel like I've been looking at the mirror more than I've been looking at the camera. If I have, sorry about that. <laughs> but, um, oh yeah. And one of the best things I got there was, um, this. This right here is peanuts in a bottle. A delicacy. It's like, <laughs> peanuts in a bottle. I always buy this every time I go back to Nigeria. It's basically... They take roasted pe they roast peanuts and then they put it like in an empty bottle. I can tell this is a um a Lucozé bottle, which is a drink in my country. I can just tell from like the shape and everything. But yeah, they put it in a bottle and it costs about like a dollar and some change. So and it's really good actually. I'm gonna have one right now because mm. very good. <laughs> As you can see, I've I've basically I've been eating it, and so has my brother. And I bought this um, perfume talc. I have no idea why I bought this. I really don't. I'm still thinking, like, why did I buy this? I don't know, but I bought it. <laughs> Finally, I bought a whole bunch of CDs. A whole bunch of CDs. A bunch of Christian CDs. Like this artist called Jadia. I really, 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 really like her. And I couldn't wait. Like, I waited, let me say, two years to get my hands on her CD. So when we went back to Nigeria, I just, I, I searched her out and I got her CD. I'm so happy I did because it's a wonderful CD. Just a bunch of Christian CDs. Frank Edwards. Samsung. African Mega Praise. I don't know what that is. I haven't listened to it yet. This, I don't really know who she is, but... And this girl, Esther, I guess that's her name, but she had her own um, solo album, and she was the one who sang. She was featured in the first video I did with the GLS 15. Their, I think it was called Chimike. That's the name of their group. I'm not sure, but this is her own solo album. I heard it online, and I just I had to have my own copy, so I'm really happy that I got it. And then I got this guy, Pan and Percy Paul, who's really, he's, I've loved him since I was a kid, and I bought two of his CDs. And that's basically my Nigerian haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed it. I'm going to enjoy these. Um, but yeah, um, rate, comment, and subscribe if you like. And that's